Hello, welcome to Poems to Live By. I'm Char Nord, the former Poet Laureate of Vermont from 2015 to 2019. Today's poem is by the great poet Allen Ginsberg, who lived from 1926 to 1997. He was once asked why he wrote poetry, what his purpose, what he felt his purpose was as a poet in America. And he replied very simply and poignantly, to pierce the world. It was a very ambitious, very ambitious intention that he had. Uh, but uh, language of protest, resistance, and empowerment just seemed to come to him so naturally. He was really a modern day American prophet. I'm gonna read one of his poems today that combines both prophetic utterance and humor. He was wise enough to know that in order for people to read his poetry and to like it and to memorize it and to live by it, he needed to mix witnessing to the events of his day with, with humor, finding that humor didn't detract from the importance or urgency of his witnessing, but actually made it more palpable. And I think we'll see this a little bit in this poem I'm going to read today, a supermarket in California. What thoughts I have of you tonight, Walt Whitman, for I walk down the streets, the side streets, under the trees with a headache, self-conscious looking at the full moon. In my hungry fatigue and shopping for images, I went into the neon fruit supermarket, dreaming of your enumerations. What peaches and what penumbras, whole families shopping at night, aisles full of husbands, wives in the avocados, babies in the tomatoes, and you, Garcia Lorca, what were you doing down by the watermelons? I saw you, Walt Whitman, childless, lonely old grubber poking among the meats in the refrigerator and eyeing the grocery boys. I heard you asking questions of each, who killed the pork chops? What price bananas? Are you my angel? I wandered in and out of the brilliant stacks of cans following you and followed in my imagination by the store detective. We strode down the open corridors together in our solitary fancy, tasting artichokes, possessing every frozen delicacy and never passing the cashier. Where are we going, Walt Whitman? The doors close in an hour. Which way does your beard point tonight? I touch your book and dream of our odyssey in the supermarket and feel absurd. Well, we walk all night through solitary streets. The trees add shade to shade. Lights out in the houses will both be lonely. Well, we stroll dreaming of the lost America of love past blue automobiles and driveways, home to our silent cottages. Ah, dear father, gray beard, lonely old courage teacher, what America did you have when Karen quit poling his ferry and you got out on a smoking bank and stood watching the boat disappear on the black waters of Leth? left being the river between heaven, between, I should say, the afterworld, hell, and, and the earth. Allen Ginsberg, talking to his mentor, teacher, and fellow prophet, Walt Whitman, who lived about 100 years before he did, more cl closer to 70 or 80 years, but who struck all the same notes that Ginsberg tries to strike in this poem and his other poems anew with his own language. I hope you enjoyed this poem. Thank you very much.